Now, a way to do that in a more masculine way is to either add more volume on that section or draw it out and make it longer. That's unbelievable. Masculinizing inflection. So what do I mean when I talk about inflection? Great question, Renee. <laughs> so when we talk about inflection, we're talking about emphasizing certain words in a sentence to give that sentence meaning. English is a highly inflected language, so sometimes the meaning of a sentence can change when you add emphasis to one word or another. For example, the sentence, I never said I stole your money, changes depending on which part of the sentence you add emphasis to. I never said I stole your money. I never said I stole your money. I never said I stole your money. You see, every single word emphasized gives a different meaning to that sentence. So how can we emphasize our sentences in a way that is more masculine versus feminine? So a feminine way to inflect is to emphasize using pitch. So we add a high pitch when we want to emphasize. So let's take the phrase, that's unbelievable. So in that short sentence, the leave of unbelievable would be the emphasized part. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right? So when I increase the pitch like that on leave, I'm inflecting that sentence in kind of a feminine way. That's unbelievable. Now, a way to do that in a more masculine way is to either add more volume on that section or draw it out and make it longer. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Or longer. That's unbelievable. I actually find longer versus louder a little bit easier. It's easier to just to hold something a little longer than to try and modify your volume. So that's unbelievable versus that's unbelievable, right? Give it a try on a sentence that you're working on right now and let me know in the comments if this helped.